The average inmate population in Department of Correction is approximately 12,000. Of the 12,000, about 10,000 are housed on Rikers Island and the 2,000 in the surrounding boroughs, Manhattan, the Bronx, and Brooklyn. Um, we serve about 40,000 meals per day for inmates and staff and approximately 7,000 sandwich meals for our courts. Um, in addition, um, we prepare, <clears throat> I'm sorry, in addition to preparing hot meals, we also um, make all of the bread that is used on Rikers Island, which is about 41,000 loaves per day and cakes which are only served on special occasions. <clears throat> there are five kitchens in the Department of Correction. Three of them are located on Rikers Island, along with the bakery, and two in the bar facilities. One is in Manhattan, and one in Brooklyn. <clears throat> um, we serve a heart-healthy menu and the men, our heart healthy menu um, is low in sodium, less than 20, 20 300 milligrams per day, <clears throat> less than 300 milligrams of cholesterol. 30% um, um, this, this saturated fat is 30, is, I'm sorry, 30 percent of the calories or less, and the um, I'm sorry, the, 30, the saturated fat is 10% of the calories or less, and the total fat is 30% and less of the total calories. It's also high in fiber, more than 28 grams of fiber. We also offer religious diets, um, halal, kosher. We offer vegan diet and a therapeutic diet. We have a carbohydrate control, a renal diet, and um, med um, medically, medical diets, um, liquid diets, modified diets, we call that. We serve in over 239 dining locations in, on Rikers Island and the bar facility at each meal. Our Raw food cost is $1.15 roughly, and it excludes labor, and that's per meal. Um, we started actually the implementation of the, we, um, making changes in the food standard, actually, I, I say about 1997 when we eliminated fried foods. And right after that, we eliminated sugar beverages. Now, in 2006, we continued by eliminated, eliminating trans fats and continued to work on the food standards, eliminate, uh, making changes in different food items like changing from white bread to whole wheat bread, whole milk to 1% milk, um, serving five servings of fruits and vegetables per day, redu reduction of the calories for both male and female, um, sodium content, reducing the sodium content of both regular, the total menu and um, whole frozen meals. And we continued that process until 2010 when um, we implemented our heart healthy menu. Some of the challenges that we faced during this time was um, late and untimely delivery of food products. Um, we had to make multiple menu substitutions. <clears throat> and also, we, we still have to do this, continuously reviewing the labels, to ensure that they are in conformance with the requirements. And um, I also want to mention that in implementing, implementing the food standards, 
it's, it's a process. There are certain very crucial steps <coughs> that must be taken, and we <coughs> we found them. We found that by by following these steps, it really helped us to implement them successfully. Communication, 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 with all the stakeholders, from the commissioner, the manufacturers, um, the the chain of command right down to the inmate population, the inmate council, the line staff. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> I'm sorry, you, in, in communicating the benefits of the program, we had to make, we had to communicate to the inmates, um, not just the benefits, but address the issues of that. Um, we were not taking away any entitlement from them we were not cutting back on food. We ha this was all about promoting good health. And actually, when once we did this, we actually found that they bought into it, and we didn't have repercussions um, at the end of the implementation. <clears throat> One of the, my challenges also in implementing the food standards was just looking at the tray that we served the meals on to the inmate. We wanted to come up with um, come up with a way of when we present it to the inmate. Although it's less food, it does not appear to be significantly less on the plate. And so we came up with we, we thought about just um, visualizing the plate and adjusting the plate and the depth of the plate to create this depth perception that they weren't getting less. So we changed the plates from a deeper plate to a shallow plate, same size. So when we actually reduced the portion sizes, and we and actually, it was, very, it was timed. And the new plates was implemented the same time with the portion size, so when we rolled it out, with a different plate, it really did not look different, not much different. Um, the message that I have, that I would um, pass on to the public, first of all, is that Department of Correction, based on FY 2013, um, discharged approximately 61,000 inmates in our community. That means we have a great opportunity to educate 61,000 households on good nutrition. And we are really proud that we are using our heart healthy menu to impact such a large population from our society. Also, um, we, the, we should the consumers must drive the changes in heart healthy nutrition or healthy nutrition. The manufacturers will respond once we determine what the needs are and we communicate with them, they will respond to our needs. Thank you.